the forehead of your robot. I don't know how much time I have, nor do I know what will happen to me, but I want to send this out to everyone so you will know how. I'm not entirely sure why this has occurred, but to the best of my ability, I will explain. It all started on a rainy day. I like listening to chilled out music on rainy days. I especially love listening to ambient music. The definition of ambient can differ from person to person, but what it is to me, is usually music with drones, minimal processions, and can have varied moods, usually either happy, dark and depressing, or just mysterious. Selected Ambient Works Volume 2 by Aphex Twin, was my selection for the afternoon. The album is more dark than its former, Selected Ambient Works, 85 to 92. The album, lasting around two and a half hours, was a perfect choice, as there was nothing better to do for the day. Everything was seemingly normal, until Spots. Spots, the 22nd song on the album, was what started it all. The song is a continual drone, which sounds to me like a hollowed out, abandoned mental institution, left a long time ago to succumb to nature, but not just that, the dead of the hospital. Yes, throughout the album, there are samples put all over the place, such as a deep, distorted, demonic sounding moan in white blur too, or what sounds like a spirit trying to contact someone via radio in radiator, or a conversation in white blur one, held between a man and woman, taken up so high in pitch, and sped up to a certain degree, that it is almost impossible to decipher what they are saying. But what I heard in spots is something I never heard before. There were whispers in the song in the original disc, but that was normal, because every other copy I have listened to contained it. But what I heard was this dark, demonic growling, as if it was saying something. I could not make a word out of it though. Puzzled, I just sat through it, staring at my radio. That growling was not supposed to be there. I was so scared, and I had to do something about it. The best option there was to call my friends, I had them come over to hear it. The thing is though, they didn't hear anything. Nothing. At this point, I couldn't take it. I was scared, and I couldn't do anything about it. When my friends went home, I took out the CD and never listened to it, until yesterday. I may have listened to it, but not willingly. No. I was on iTunes, listening to some dead moth eyed, and then the song just froze, playing of the song only one part, counting as one eighth note, just repeating itself. Over and over, I heard the same part of the song. But then things took a turn for the worse. It was back. Spots was back, but it was in reverse. Then it came to the part where the growling came in. This time, I made something out of it. I could understand it. The growling was reversed when the song wasn't reversed, but as the song was reversed, the growling wasn't reversed. If I remember it correctly, I heard it say. You cannot hide. You cannot resist. Your friends will be of no aid to you. And your family will succumb to us. Your life will be reversed as ours. A parallel. We will find you. We will make your life as ours were made by them. There is nothing you can do. You cannot hide. You cannot... You can... You can... Then there was static. That was never there either. I locked myself in my room. There was only one thing I could do. I kept my Bible next to me at all times. I only could leave in the morning for school, but until then, I had to stay up. All night, I was awake, making sure nothing happened. The next day, today, I felt nothing. I feel nothing. Everyone asked me why I was so pale, why I had dark rings under my eyes. The worst part was, my crush started noticing. Oh, I wish I could see her again, but I fear it's too late. I listened to my iPod while doing my homework at the study hall. But I didn't control it. It automatically went to spots. I did nothing about it. You cannot resist. I listened to it. Near the end of the song, it was automatically put on repeat. Each time I listened, the air got heavier. I was about to throw up. As it is allergy season, I got up to blow my nose. I did, but blood came out, not mucus. 
and blood started pouring out of my nose. As the blood poured on the floor, it moved. It literally moved. It formed the word, hide. Whatever was talking to me through spots, was toying with me. It tells me there is hope in hiding, but there is none. I cannot hide. I cannot resist. I went home, and now I am writing this. I don't know what will happen. I don't know why it happened. But I know, soon, I have to join them, because I cannot hide. I cannot resist. Right now, as I type this, Spots is sneaking into my mind, playing. I know by this that I don't have much time. I cannot hide. I cannot resist.